Let's pray. God of the harvest, you open your hand and fill all living things with enough. No, more than enough, with abundance. Bless the lands and the waters and multiply the harvests of the earth. Send forth your breath and renew the face of the earth. Show us your loving kindness that our land may yield its increase and save us from selfish use of what you provide, that the poor and the needy may give thanks to you. In this season of politics, we find ourselves all too often suspicious and divided. We seem surrounded by enemies. You, however, are the God who commanded us to love our enemies, lead them and us from prejudice to truth. Deliver them and us from hatred, cruelty, and revenge. And in your time, enable all to stand reconciled before you in Jesus Christ. We give over this nation to your merciful care that we may be guided and directed by you and know your peace. We pray for our president, Donald, our governor, Mike, our mayor, Ben, and everyone in positions of authority across the globe. May they be filled with your wisdom and know your righteousness and goodness as they care for your people. We pray for an end to the coronavirus pandemic and for comfort and healing for all those affected. Bless the sick, the grieving, the frontline workers and the researchers all for your glory. We pray for our Bishop Gregory, our pastor, Becky, and everyone who proclaims the word of Jesus Christ for the benefit of the world. Help them proclaim your scriptures authoritatively and honestly, making your word clear to all that would listen. Almighty and eternal God, draw our hearts to you. Guide our minds, fill our imaginations, control our wills that we may be wholly yours, utterly dedicated to you. Use us, we pray, as you will and always to your glory and the welfare of your people, to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Now we pray as you taught us to pray, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.